Hello everybody and welcome to my channel and today I am going to be talking to you about my pets that I have. I did mention that I had pets in one of my previous videos called Get to Know Me I think. I post I think I posted that either last week or the week before. I can't exactly remember exactly what day it was. But yeah, if you want you can check that out. But yeah, I'm going to talk about, about my pets and I might talk about other things in this video as well, depending on how long it's going to be. Well, I have three cats. One of them is three, oh, not three months, um, six months old. He is called Oscar and he's black and white, mostly black. He's a bit of, like under his nose, but there's top lip he looks like he has a little mustache kind of thing and he has a bit of white underneath his belly and going up to his chin I think and he's like a little white socks kind of on his feet as well and he is really cute and cuddly when we're like in bed I mean my partner are going to bed we usually he sometimes come into the bedroom with us and he can be really cute and cuddly and he'll come up and start and, like lying next to you and cuddling right into you. Sometimes what he does is that he kind of starts biting you a little bit when he's really happy and it's really cute when he does that. Also have two cats that are going to be three years old next year. And one of them is also black and white, but this, which is Oyo, and he has a little bit more white than Oscar does, but he has more black than white also, but more white than, than Oscar, if that makes any sense. He's really cute as well, and he's fat, but he was like that when we got him, he was fat. And we tried to put him on a diet, didn't work because um, we live in a village. He's still on a diet and we live in a village. And some people in the village also have cats and they leave their cat food outside for their cats. And our Oreo goes around and steals it. I'm pretty sure we think he does that. He is a really friendly cat. Let, literally let a stranger go up to him and stroke him there's so many times he's like a few times I remember walking into the shop he'd be um, lying in the middle of the road and he just like there'll be a car coming and he's just like there looks around at the cars like gets up and starts plods along like slowly like doesn't care about the car coming or not which is a bit silly but it's he can be a little bit dopey sometimes, but he's still cute. And then the other cat we have that is the same age as Oreo, which is going to be three next year, is Rogue. And she is a tabby cat and she has three legs and one eye. We, well, my partner found her. She was a stray kitten. We uh, my partner found her like with really and badly infected eye it was like coming out and look, looked really scabby and horrible and she like was covered in fleas and bugs on her little tiny kind of flea things on her and inside of ears there's load of like mites or what they call them little stuff inside her foot ear moving about so we took her to the vet and we got her eye removed and got these things to get the bug uh, the fleas away from our uh, her and also the I think the vet gave her something for the ears as well so they put clear up and she about a year later we took her to the vet so she get could get spayed so she couldn't get uh couldn't have any kittens when she grows up 
so yeah would have liked to let her have kittens but there's too many stray kittens and too many uh, cats too many stray kittens and cats are everywhere and there's a load of um cats in um shelters that need to be homed so we didn't want to <coughs> sorry <coughs> not that sick we didn't want to add to the more cats or whatever if you know what i mean just if we um couldn't find anybody to have any kittens then we'd be stuck with kittens and last thing we wanted was having more cats that we ha would have had to get spayed or neutered or anything like that and um then not long after that i think it's a few months after that she got hit by a car i think pretty sure she got hit by a car but i remember bringing her in one night and um I could tell that she wasn't um, using a one for front legs properly and she smelled like burning tyre when she came in but she didn't, I don't think she, she did, didn't look like she was like got hit by a car that badly because it was only her shoulder blade, her shoulder bit was completely broken. We didn't know that until we got an it raid and um, you could able like get her part and bend it straight out like at a 90 degree angle for if she's like standing on her fast and just pulled it out from the side she could do that with her paw so I'm actually holding the f my phone with my hands right now so sorry if it's a bit wobbly I, I am planning to get a proper little set uh what they call it a camera and little stand thing so i don't have to actually hold it or anything like that so yeah so i was saying my cat got hit by a car it's um shattered kind of com completely broken in the shoulder and it's kind of shattered it up a bit and um we took us the fact got it x-rayed before it got extra x-rayed, the vet was saying that it wasn't broken at all. It's just little sprained muscles or something like that. But I convinced to get an x-rayed and found out it's actually broken. And the vet said that the closer, um, there's only like four people in Ireland that could do the operation to make it fixed and mend it but the closest vet was like two to three hours drive away and we would have to pay one thousand euro to two uh one thousand euro to one thousand two hundred euro to get fixed and we would have to drive down there for about two hours and two hours back up then two hours to pick her back down and two hours back up so about eight hours drive altogether to take her to the fair, which would probably cost about a hundred or so just to drive down there altogether and back up for about maybe I don't know about that. And um, we end up deciding to just getting her leg removed, which I didn't really want to. If just like the if we did get mended and fixed. There will, will be still a chance of it breaking and the bone being weaker and possible of other future payments of fixing it and stuff like that. So having two kids, the last thing we want to be doing is being paying, constantly paying a, load of, like a lot of money on vet balls so even though I would love to I won't mind if I didn't have kids doing that but I kind of need a kind of um if it's like yeah you know trying to find the words to say how to uh the put in a uh, way to say it so it doesn't sound too bad but I would yeah end up getting it removed her leg removed which cost about 200 euro she is really happy now. Uh, sorry. But 
I am planning to get in to stand in the camera and stuff so I can actually don't have to hold my phone while I'm taking a video. I am planning to get better stuff for it if I'm done a properly do YouTube channel. So yeah, I would like my rogue, my cap, the legged one eyed cap. Yeah, I really wish that I could actually get her leg fixed but it was a lot of money that I didn't have and it would be further pay, uh, payments that we would have to pay for more likely very high chance would have had to pay more fat balls for her and the money also we didn't have we would have in the future as well having kids and all that kind of I wish I could help get it fixed and that and so she ha could have all four legs that she already had a missing eye so yeah I couldn't really do anything else about it just I didn't have that grand to get it fixed and so yeah she's really cute and cuddly as well she's my favorite she's my pet cat the Oh yeah, the fat one is a family cat and oh, Oscar, the six months old one, is my partner's cat. So yeah. And also I can't really, really can't wait for tomorrow, for Christmas. <laughs> I'm really excited. And um, yeah, today me and my partner um, was feeling a bit sick. We're getting like, my partner's been getting sick a little bit today. And I felt like I was gonna felt like I was gonna throw up a lot and getting really bad shot stomach pains. Sorry about that. I had to go and get dinner. That's why I paused the video. Or just it just ended all of a sudden. Whatever. I had to go and get dinner and look after my two kids as they'll be. They were a bit being a for a bit of a nuisance. So yeah, that's it for my video. Me and my partner are kind of starting to feel a little bit better now with the tummy kind of bug thing going on. My dad said that it's been going around the little tummy bug thing that lasts for about a day. So yeah. I hope you enjoy this video. Please subscribe and give this a thumbs up. And also, I'd like to say happy Christmas to everybody and a new year. Hopefully, I'm gonna be putting up. Sorry, next time you see me, you'll probably be on the 26th uh, with um, what I got for Christmas. So, yeah, so I hope everybody has a really good Christmas and I hope Santa comes for you all and gets. Uh, gives you everything that you want and that so thanks for the view and everything and please give it a thumbs up and a um, subscribe so yeah bye